So, um, you know, when we when we learn what the new rules will be, and we learn how much money we have to spend and what sort of things that we can and can't do, uh, we'll be we'll be prepared. We'll be we'll be preparing um, for lots of different scenarios and following um, collective bargaining uh, conversations. Even now, hope, hoping that nothing happens and that we that we just go as is or, or, or move forward on July 1st. But uh, we'll be prepared for anything. And um, there's a lot of players out there that are good players. But uh, you know, we improve. We need to improve our team to have a crack at it next year. And we hope to be able to do that this summer. What are the biggest areas you feel like you need to address? We just need to get talent, more talent. We need, you know, scoring droughts have been uh, a problem that we've had the last couple of years. Um, I think our defense has been consistently good over the last few years. And um, but for whatever reason, we, we, we've had too many scoring droughts at crucial times of games, and that's hurt us. Will Rondo need surgery? No, no, just rest. Yeah. How tough is it to have a game plan in place or not knowing the new rules? Um, well, we can't have a game plan in place today, if that's what you mean, but every team's in the same boat. We're just sitting and waiting for, for those answers. And, you know, we, we, we know some possibilities. I mean, we read what you guys read and follow that, and, and we have an owner that can keep us updated on how things are going. So, um, you know, you gotta be a little bit flexible. You said that they have talent, but do you think that this team, the Big Three, have another serious title run left in them? No, I know this about the Big Three. They still have a lot of basketball left in them. You know, how much can they carry a team? Can they be, you know, 20 point a game scores, all that kind of stuff? I, I don't know, but I do know that um, they're, they're still very talented. And, uh, but we need to add talent around them. Any work in Shaquille on on his future? No. You got Doc back. Uh, what's your indication about Lawrence? Any idea what his? I don't know. Is? Uh, I know Lawrence is interviewing for head coaching opportunities, and and he should be hired as a head coach. And um, my guess is that he'll be hired as a head coach somewhere. Really, as a player option, right? Are you assume he's going to pick mm -hmm. up or? Don't know yet. Don't know. What are the possibilities that one member of the big three if you try to get younger and try to get more talent this is going to be the chip you have to use you know it that's just those, those are hypothetical situations that probably aren't fair to, to to bring up i mean you know it's my job to find out the value of every player on the team and uh, see what options are but i don't don't know a, a likelihood of it my my objective is to build people but put people around them that are better but are you open to it <clears throat> i'm open to anything that will help us be better what wrong? What went wrong with this team this year? Was it simply the injuries caught up with them, or what was the problem? Um, what, what 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 are you referring to? Well, they they had the best record, and you know the day of the trade, and they slipped to number three in the seeding. Yeah, they, yeah. they lost in the second round. Right. You know, so last year we, I think we had like 55 games at the end of the season where we sort of fell apart. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I think this year it was only 15 or 20 where we sort of slipped at the end. Um, you know, at the at, at the trade deadline, um, at the All Star break, I should say, I think that there we were one of a handful of teams that were projected to win: Celtics, Lakers, Spurs, Mavericks, I think uh, Chicago. I think we're probably the teams that were were expected to win an NBA championship. Uh, three of those teams are out. Two teams did nothing um, trade wise or anything, and they sort of. Um, fell by the wayside in the playoffs. We made a trade that we thought would help us this year and help us in the future, and 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 uh, we got beat by, by a very good Miami team. Yeah. And and I, I think that um, it's open to anybody's. I mean, everybody might have their own opinion as to why we fizzled or why we didn't play well. I have my theories. Um, what, what is your theory? And I won't share those with you because <laughs> <laughs> that would be, uh, you know, talking about some of my players that didn't play as well as they were capable of playing. But I don't think we played as well as we were capable of playing. But I don't, uh, in my opinion, it's not because we didn't have someone setting screens because we did have some s people setting screens. It's not because um, of our interior defense. I think it had a lot more to do with uh, our ability to score down the stretch of games. And, and, and we and we thought we improved that by making the trade. You talk about the big